Jackie and Michelle at your service here this morning. And Michelle always has great ideas, do-it-yourself ideas. And this morning, Jackie, well, she's going to pull up her drawers. Well, we were just talking yesterday <laughs> how it was a special day where we're kind of looking at our closets, looking at our stuff. And instead of putting it in, you know, a dumpster, saying, what can I do? Can I donate it? Can I turn it into something else? And that's how your brain is always working. You're looking right. at things and saying, I can repurpose this. I see lots of uses for things. That's not always a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, and you know, and I think it's a very important thing. Creativity is innate in all of us. And uh, it's important for us to exercise that. And I think that uh, the more we do, the more productive we are. I'm also a big believer in, you know, create, creating more than we're consuming. And so if you combine that with, you know, exercising your creativity makes you more productive, you know, ultimately you're a little more fulfilled and content and you're being a lot more uh, resourceful, of course. And this one is a, a fun one for me um, because it's, you know, there's lots of uh, times we have a piece of furniture or, you know, cabinetry that, you know, we're changing out a room or what have you. And, uh, you know, sometimes the top gets warped or it's just, it's really not. Or it's just sitting piece. in the garage, for example. Garage. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, but you can take, I like to you take something and, oh, you know, can I use parts of it? You know, that's a big thing about um, creativity. It's a good exercise when you have something before you toss it out, you know, something of substance. Um, look at it and say, is there parts of this that I can use? Can you know, I are use there it? parts of this that I can use? And then start manipulating it, taking it apart. And so that this is what you can do with a piece of furniture. I take all the drawers out. If there's a piece of furniture that needs to get disposed of and I can't use it, you know, in its entirety, I'll take the pieces of it and use those pieces in other projects. So the drawers. As I say, what in the world are we doing with all these drawers? These are the drawers. <laughs> and the drawers make fabulous uh, crates storage. Because uh, they're pretty sturdy. They're very sturdy. Yeah. Uh, the downside of that is some of them, I had some pieces of furniture, it was really, they're kind of, they're heavy, so, mm -hmm. but they're great for like uh, toting your garden supplies around, um, extra storage on shelving. You can make them look really cool, so they're also very decorative. Um, and if you look at most of the drawers, um, not all of them. I was going to say, you can, you, but you're not saying just pull this out and saying, okay, here the, I go. No, it doesn't work that, it doesn't it doesn't work work so that way. That right. Way. So, so what do I need to do to make this more useful? What you need to do is uh, most of your drawers, not all of them, there's some pieces of furniture where it's built in, but most of them have a front panel or a facing to your drawer. Then if you look inside, you'll usually see a couple of screws. Mm -hmm. So Lou, why don't you go ahead? I have this one kind of started okay. um, for you. But take... You're going to want to just remove this front panel so you take and, of course, any hardware that's on there. Taking these out so you can take this front, like, yes. lip off. Yes, so then that front is going to just pop right off. And then, Jackie, you'll notice, like, that one has a wheel um, for As a I say, track. I, a lot of your drawers are going to have a lot of hardware. Attached. some sort of track. Yeah, there we go. Hey! So you want to remove so all of that. Once you remove the front piece, you're left with a pretty sweet, sturdy box. Okay, so that, and, that's your starting yeah, point. Yeah, and so, and like I said, a lot of them will have other pieces, but they're, it's always very easy to remove. They're, ju they're just uh, usually installed with some screws. So unscrew them, take them apart so that you're, base, you're left with just the shell of the drawer. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you can um, paint it, sand it, leave it natural. If this is just something maybe you want to use in your garage or your workshop to store some tools leave and it different just the things way it is, and yeah. have them stacked up, you can leave it just the way it is. Um, but they're, it's very durable. <laughs> Most of your drawers are very, very durable. They'll hold lots of uh, Unlike lots a of cardboard things. box. Yeah, and a lot of the, you know, different crates and stuff that you buy at um, hobby stores and that, they're a little flimsier, thinner wood. Um, so these really do make great. Yeah, good job, Jackie. Hey, good work. <laughs> anything I can do. And I've even seen people take these and, and hang them on their wall See, for a decorative. You could and use it as like a coat hook or and leave the hardware on it. Yeah. You can also, um, I like to take the panels and you can paint on them and turn them. You could use them as a canvas for a piece of artwork. You can use them as, this is just a little to-do. I painted some chalkboard. I said that's chalkboard paint, I right? I used some okay. chalkboard okay. paint on it so that we could, um, you know, make a list or what have you. But you can use these as well for other projects. And that one's a great one with the, it uh, is. leaving the hardware on and just That is a code hook right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can paint them up and uh, give them whatever look or style that is, is you. And then you want to add some handles to them so that they're easy to carry. And that just, you know, that takes your upcycling and your repurposing uh, one step further because I like to use old leather belts. Um, I can use these in a lot of different ways. <laughs> but old leather belts make great handles, so just cut them down. And I just screwed them into place. And you can install them a couple oh, of different go. ways. I have them on the outside of the... Uh, 
crate on, on the, the bottom ends. one. I put them up towards the top. It just depends on how you want to um, carry them. And it looks like you can also use some of the the hardware that you remove, like the, the screws you yeah, remove from the front so fascia. You can and put drawer poles on each end of it, which make it nice, you know, nice yeah. sturdy handles as well. You can drill some holes in it. Um, if you drilled them a little closer, those could be your finger holes just to make it easy to lift up. I like to put um, some heavy rope. Turn that one around yeah. so you can see what we're showing so here. So just drill a couple of holes in it and then you can just use some rope. And it's fun to just challenge yourself to really work with what you have. That's um, a good idea. And you'll surprise yourself at what all you come up with. And you know, the great thing about it is it uh, fuels other ideas. One thing always leads to another and it's in the doing that you discover. That's just a fact. Let's go back if we're going to make it a little more decorative by using paint or anything like that. What kind of paint should we be using you for something use, like this? You can use on these types of things. I use whatever paint I have lying around. So if you have leftover wall paint, works great. A chalk paint is awesome to use because you don't have to worry about priming it and it's really all about what type of a look that you want to go I was for. As I say, can I just start painting this or do I need to sand, sand it, it down? A little, sand it a little bit. Um, if you're using chalk paint, that really sticks nicely to, to anything without having to do any priming. If you want to really, you know, nice solid clean finish on something, sand it nicely um, so you give your paint some tooth, prime it, paint it, um, and then enroll your paint on so you don't have a lot of brush marks. We'll give you a nice clean finish and then um, you can seal it or like I, you know, I like to distress things a little bit and then mix them with things that are new and shine, right. so kind of get a, a little contrast. Uh, yeah, 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 but um, it's really, all, you know, they're fun to paint on and then you can add, you know, have a, a play around with different tags and markers so that you can label what you have in the you know crates or what you're going to be using them for. Again, I love chalkboards, uh, so I just painted some you know taped off a section on the sides of them and uh, painted that some chalkboard, chalkboard paint, paint is on great, there. Isn't it? And then I can change it out and yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and they have it in all kinds of different colors now. You're not just stuck with black or, or oh, yeah, you know, the old know traditional that. chalkboard okay. green. And that's so. available at most normal uh, yeah, paint all store. hardware okay. stores, okay. art supply stores, okay. and then like I said, it you know it fuels other ideas. Um, and I, you know, I kind of had, I was just going to turn them all into crates, but as I got working on it, as with most things, then I saw, oh, we could turn these. I added wheels. You can see there's one on the, in the on front the there. there. And it's, I added some casters to the bottom of it, a big, um, like a tool belt type of belt, leather belt to the front of it. And then um, Berkeley uses it to haul her toys around. So it's got some wheels. You can use it as a little wagon, basically. And so, so the uh, the wheels. I'm gonna walk around there and show you the wheels here. I want I want people to see the kind of wheels that are on here, because this is looks pretty. And this is just a plain old drawer, so it's just simple. And look like you reinforced them a little bit too. Yeah, I propped them up a little bit because they would have been too recessed. And actually, um, Berkeley tells me I needed to put some bigger wheels on it, so okay. they're a little probably. What you little can small. do with, with something like this. <laughs> Wait, too. and I she's right. They, yeah. Yeah. they need okay. a little bit bulkier okay. caster on the bottom of them. And then but, here's your belt. Yep. Now, did you have to rivet this together like this, or is this the way I it was? I did rivet it together, okay. but you could use glue, you, could, you know, whatever you happen to have. That's the, that's okay, the fun of right it. There. Work with what you have. Don't feel like you have to go out and get a whole bunch of special supplies or things to pull it together, because okay. you'll be surprised at what you do have to work with, what you can do with it, and what you'll come up with uh, when you start playing around. Because it's all just about using your creative muscles and, and seeing the things that might be lying around. I mean, there's people that make a lot of money doing this in this yeah. city, where they go into uh, barns we have here in Iowa, take things out like this and create them into something new and they go to a city and sell it. And it's you can like, turn, you can you put can them do it upright yourself. and put some shelving in them and have them displayed that way. But it's, you know, one dresser, you know, when it's free pickup day or whatever yeah, they have around one, town. I, I could see you going around, around pulling and drawers out. You don't out. have to haul the whole piece of furniture away. <laughs> just pull out all the drawers and yeah, make some fun storage. <laughs> you just gave people a great idea that <laughs> we're out there. I don't what have I'm any old for. cabinets, but it's free, free pickup day. You're coming that's up soon too. That's what I'm here for. So. Oh, that's perfect. Lots of great ideas and you do that for us all the time, Michelle. If people want to be inspired, you do have a website that they can go to and yeah, also and they social can media as well. Here at weareiowa.com, Remake Life. Um, catch us on Facebook, Instagram. We're always trying to uh, share some new ideas, projects, and uh, in a broad uh, scope of you know ways. That works. And things for the garden, the home, whatever. We good stuff, lady. That's, a That's good always idea. a lot of fun. All right, there you have it, folks.